Welcome back, everybody. We're here with more of the Kingdom Come Deliverance. And oh, before we get into it, I have to introduce you to our little friend. His name is Mutt. Say hi, buddy. There's the good doggy. That's my boy. He can help us in a lot of ways. Mm. No. Come on up, That'll pray. progress as we do as we do things with him. So he can hunt, and he can help defend us. You digging something up, dude? What's going on? citizens move along there's nothing to see here that's what you call nothing to see I'd like to know what something to see looks like who got him by the keys of St. Peter this is all I need we'll have to send word to Sir Hanush that might not be necessary who are you I'm Henry of Scalitz in the service of Hanush's captain Bernard I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think Mr. this has Tough anything guy. to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say he had a limp? Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you. To Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. Goodness. Sakra. That was gross. <sighs> Nothing's ever easy. Suppose not, Henry. Suppose not. I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions. That's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. I wonder if he's got any suggestions on where to look. That's probably the best way to find out what to do. Okay, well, that's weirdly specific. Parish priest here in Ujits. He's a peculiar sort of cleric. I noticed he's quite handy with a sword. When? He is indeed. He's as hard as nails. More than once, he's intervened in the brawl. It just got here. And sat everyone on their asses. He's not to be taken away. I went to the scribe. Oh, he acquired those skills at the seminary. I learned to read. You know how it goes. The nobles send their youngest sons to study for the priest? the priesthood. And our parish priest has blue blood in him. He probably learned to fight at home before he went to university. That's how it goes with those aristocrats. But I heard something happened and he was roving the world for a while. I don't know what he got up to them. Well, then I know exactly what I need to do. Don't drink the dirty water. Go on. Okay. To the priest. What's that guy doing? Skrrr! Oh, Pale of Park to perfect. Anyways. What's up, bitches? I like the way the lighting works in here. Specifically this corner. I'm gonna look down. Oh. Okay, that was weird. Okay. The blessings of our good Straight Lord. Straight to be business, with you, please. 
I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lyper, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. It seems but I ask as you concerned. wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did I hope you grow more hair. What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Do you know what Lubosch was doing on the day Neuhof was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. But I'd like tell to help me. you with your investigation, but I can't. Dead men tell no tales. I mean, come on. I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. Tell me and what you can. One of those is the sanctity of the confessional. Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People you like don't know Lubos fucking don't anything, know what to do man? about it, and sometimes they do stupid well, things. that you can That's tell really me? not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't make me be a prick. They're like, this is the only option now. Now I have Father, to be a prick. Father, you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances. And this is one of them. For heaven's sake, Father, can you really look me in the eye and tell me that, when you know you may be condemning innocent people to death? I can. Because if I broke that vow, the consequences would be much worse than if I didn't. Hmm. Maybe not immediately, but one day. The mills of God grind slowly. Father, Lubosch was my only lead to the Neuhof Raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk it over in the evening. In the tavern. Over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. I'll Thank you. Get him for drunk. Take care now. I gotta get out of this place. What is going on? Where are we going? Oh, the tavern. That's right. To the tavern. To drink with Padre. I like beer. One beer. One bear, one bear, one bear, shut up. Ah! You finally made it. Satisfied? Give me what I want. I'm sorry, I can't tell you everything. But maybe we can work something out. Uh, but first, I'd like leg to day, hear maybe? something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? Your mama's house. She lives around the corner to the north. I'm from Scalitz. I'm from Scalitz. Oh. I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're dead. She just wants to know where they're from. I'm sorry to hear that. Here. We'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. It was terrible. Ooh, we've told this story a lot. It seemed so pointless. We had no warning. He just appeared and began the slaughter. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. Straight well, to the we've point. Had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you do it once, You'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again, and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. What? If I tell you what Lubos told me, wish. I'd be betraying the confessional secret. And good help. But I'll bring it right first thing away. tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? To to good good name. On my soul. <laughs> God. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, father? 
What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I Mine as well. Let me down. Can't go bad, right? It's a priest. Ooh, Henry, get a little grabby, my man. Ooh, ooh. They fight Right in that hole. Oh. Bailiff, come on over here. Sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can ride is me. <laughs> Enough! Men! Throw them out! Well, that was a quiet door. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up! With pleasure. Ooh, a tournament in Rat today. Maybe if I live to tell the tale. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna get to really box with this guy. I'm out of here. Oh, climb the bell tower. Climb, climb the bell tower. What about here? What do they do to me? Watch the step, my dear. Careful, don't hurt oh, yourself. I guess we're going in. Here we are. Look at this beauty. We can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> Ring that shit, bitch. <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> this is wonderful. Bloody <laughs> elf. No fight. And now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. YouTube would not like that. The sheepies, the sheepies, oh, yeah. A sheepy. A sheep. Whoa. That's mud, huh, buddy? Huh, mud? Hey. I, I got, I got, I got, I got food you. for you, dude. You'll love this. I've always got food for mud. <laughs> or not. Well, I have to say that was a fine evening. Agreed. Last part. <coughs> 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 oh, 
Oh, I got one. Godwin, you beast! Get up! Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, where the... Oh, what the... Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry. My great friend, Henry. Didn't we have a wonderful time? Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, Christopher, my Wasn't head. she right there with him? Oh, my guts. Oh, my poor suffering stomach. Oh, what was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive, I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? What? So, first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. Correct. Then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. You did? And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look, from what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishop's going to have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. Oof. How about this? If you help me with this. I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. Oh. Could I have just paid you for the information then? So all at once the confessional seal isn't so sacred? Don't mock me. I won't give you a second chance. Oh ho ho. We'll never get away with it. Not if you make a hash of it. <sighs> well, all right. But I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it then. Well, let's uh, put on our Sunday best. Here we go. Hey. Hi. Fuckhead. Ooh. We're drunk. We're drunk. We're spinning the back because we're drunk. To heal, Mutt. Where's my dog? Every table she lost for what? Oh Lord. I thought he'd never show up. The swill. Look at him. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. You were with him, you beast. Just you wait. Look at him. Mother of God. Any minute now, we'll throw up. Yeah. 
Jesus, I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Accepit panem in sanctas at venerabiles amanus suas. <clears throat> Hac facite in meam commemorationem. Brothers and sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at Neuhof. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, yeah. was able to hear Master Reason. Jan Hus from the esteemed Reason. Charles University preaching. I think he was still I managed dead to ball persuade fight. Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Because, as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So, Henry, you may begin. Now I'm curious, curious which one of them will be cute first. Brothers and sisters, let me get straight to the point. I'd like to talk about the church and how corrupt it is. That boy has a cheek. Well, good. One should not believe in the church because the church is not God. God is above all things and the church is but a means to salvation, which the prelates do not care to hear. He's right. Well, good, because I'm guessing. Continue harshly. It is the he said harsh. of God's I remember pastors that. here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, humans, hunger, and chaos. Good for you, Henry. The accursed wealth that the church is drowning in is poisoning almost the whole of Christendom. When dogs are fighting over a bone, take the bone and they will stop. Just like the flock of ravens that has descended on this land to peck up every speck of gold and silver, they show no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned by covetousness. They trade everything. Everything is for sale. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay, and you will have absolution. And the prelates sin and give themselves absolution. For shame! Shame upon them! There we go. It is the custom go. of the gluttonous prelates and monks to preach against sin. But what do they know of us ordinary folk? Let us remember the marriage at Cain, where our this. Lord Jesus Christ himself feasted with the other guests and drank his fill. And when the wine was gone, he performed a miracle and created more. He, whose companions were poor travelers, simple folk, prostitutes and troublemakers, performed a miracle so the feast could continue. Now that's the kind of sermon I like to hear. No, brothers and sisters. Jesus did not condemn alcohol. Drink to lighten the cross you bear in this veil of tears, but not with such abandon that you cannot keep holy the Sabbath. For there should be moderation in all things, and it is not drinking itself that is sinful, but intemperance and beastly indulgence. He's right. Hmm. You keep going with harshly. Enough about sin which the prelates are so fond of preaching about and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Oh, hey, the bishops tell us he too would ascend the guessing to heaven? Game and what about those bishops? Is well they sin without remorse, today. and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people well, too. I don't think he can Down care at all, too. Away with them. We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin, 
At least he's a fair and simple man. God sees what Here is happening go. on earth, and he is filled with righteous wrath that those who should seek the salvation of souls instead seek mammon and the idle comfort of lucrative posts. Blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock, who are as one with you and bear with you the burden of this earthly pilgrimage, who do not condemn your venial sins. I all honour to Godwin. Let him drink like one of us. That is all I heard in Prague. Hey, it worked. Amen. I think. The lad spoke well, considering what a soak he is. He's right, that was. Oh, yeah. Uh, shouldn't drink so much. <laughs> but the Lord's given him a silver glad he came here. I don't suppose I'll ever get to Prague. And he told it nicely. It worked. Do I get to go kill people now? Please? Pretty please? Well, well, my boy. You have talent. And I can't deny it. And you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. <sighs> yeah, I noticed. But I wasn't the only one. Well, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin. Uh, so it's gluttony. And fornication. God does forgive a penitent. So, what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Was he at Neuhof that day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Don't let me down after all I've been through. For you... Well, L come on. Lubosch came to me shortly after it happened. His conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say... Uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first, they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhof. That would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know that Lubos killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, only nicknames. Uh, talked about some fella called Riki from Ledechko. Pius, Timmy. Pius. <laughs> That lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. Oh, please. And anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Odechko, right? <laughs> well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tankard with you again sometime. Yeah, I'll try. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. And if anyone should ask, you heard nothing from me. I'll deny everything. I don't doubt it. That's one shady fuck right there. Oh! Almighty! Can't you see there's people here? That horse of yours nearly trampled me to death. The fucking thing didn't even move, bitch. Go back to singing oh. your stupid ass song. Yeah. I don't like black cloaked bearded men that are bald in the woods. Not exactly my cup of tea. I don't know what that was. I'm not staying around to find out. 
We are not getting jumped in the woods right now. Yeah. Okay, we're about to ride through town, so be a little more chill. Wait, I need to talk to you. Okay. You're the young fellow who came here from Scallets, half dead, aren't you? Yes, that'll be me. Why? The lady of the castle was asking after you. She wants to talk to you. Ah, I'll go and see her then. Thank you. Very well. Don't make her wait. Take care now. I'm gonna make her wait. Wayfaring country again, so... Hey, little doogie! Okay, yeah. onward. Mm, top path. This is the more direct path. Yeah. No! Not while my back is turned. Now another one. Give me another. Did this hurt? I wanted, I expected more. Were there more of you? No. Well, I'm not gonna bitch about getting jumped by one measly little guy. Little cracklings. I'll take those. I'll take the wine. We're gonna pull this back out because it's proven that we need it. Yeah. Onward we go. Did I get the right path this time? Yeah. I went all the way up in there. Human territory. There we are. Let that go. As we don't get jumped on our way into town again, we should be fine. Okay, now we're here for a specific reason. So, track down Riki. So, chances are. This Riki will have a reputation. So, we're going to have to use that as our lead for next time. I would like to thank you all for tuning in. I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Peace.